I'm using Photoshop and what I would like to do is to cut and paste part of another image and put it in my all gone image. Uh, I already have a selected another image that I want to uh, get the image out of. It's called Blue Glass Bottles. Uh, I right away notice a difference. The image size here is 16.7%. This is 100%. So what I would like to do is to just work, first of all, with this image here. Uh, I think I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to cut it out simply by taking my marquee tool. I'm going to select just this bottle. I'm going to say image copy. I'm going to say file new. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to say file paste. Now I paste this. I don't need this anymore. Now, this is what I intend to put here. It's still not big enough. So what I'm going to do is say, if this is 100% and this is 16%, if I brought this down to 16%, it would be this big. So here, I'm going to make this bigger. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to say image, image size. And since it's 1, I'm going to make it like 10 first. Let's see what happens. That's a pretty good size. I would like for it to be a little bigger. So we'll do image size and let's make it 13. That's a pretty good size. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my magic wand tool and I'm going to click in the background of here. Now that's pretty good. I like that. that that's pretty good. And now I've selected the background, but really what I want to do is, is select the reverse or the inverse of it. So I go up and click that. And now here I've got something that's just around the bottle itself primarily. And I would like to go up and to modify that edge. I'd like to contract it and make it squeeze it in closer to the bottle. I'll come to here. Okay, three pixels at a time. Okay, let's do that. That looks pretty good. Let's just do it one more time. Modify, contract, three. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I'm going to go up here. This is highlighted, so you see the marquee all around here. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come and make this window active, and I'm going to paste. Now, I have pasted this image on this here. Let's get the move tool. Now I can literally move this image around. And if you notice over here in my layers, I have created a layer on top of the background. The background is this, and my layer is this. So I, I can click one or the other. If I click on here, I cannot move the bottle. And it'll tell me that I can. But if I click on the layer, I can move it now. I, I can do different things with it. I can move it around. I can, I can set it wherever I want. Now, I see some things that I still don't like. So what I'm going to do is this. You see down here in this corner here where it's uh, got some white shadows and look, look like a little scrap over here. I can come back here while I've got this layer activated. I can go, come over here to my eraser tool and very carefully it will erase and make that background transparent. Now, in order to save this now, to make it, if this is exactly how I want it, I just simply go up here to File, I do Save As, and in this case, instead of saving it as a Photoshop, I probably would save it as a JPEG, and I will save it back here to Bold, Copy, that's fine, I've got one in there already from before, I would say Save It, and I'll say Replace It, you probably wouldn't have to replace it if you hadn't done it before, I'll say OK, do it in in this, this high res here. Now, watch, to prove it, I can close everything. I'm, I don't need to save that. I've already saved this. So I don't need to save, save this. Then I can come up here and say, well, let's look at some of the recent things that I've opened here. And here's one that's called Bold's Copy here. 
and there's my picture. It's finished. And you can see here, now the bowl is part of the background. So that's the cut and copy, and that makes you, makes, makes you a finished piece.